Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to talk about the Tesla Semi and I have all the information about it right here that you've been wanting to know. I've been looking into it. Now, let's get right into it. The first thing people want to know about this new electric Semi from Tesla is how far can it go? What's the range on a set of batteries? It depends. There's two battery packs for it. The initial pack is 300 miles range and that's not that far. That'd be a totally local operation, something like that, right? They have an extended range pack, and if you know anything about their cars, uh, their cars always have several different ranges available as well. So the second range is 500 miles. Now, that seems to be enough because Walmart already put an order for 10 trucks in as soon as they saw them. Because Walmart can know that when they go from their distribution center to a store and back, it's 320 miles, it's a 400 miles, however far it is, they know exactly how far it is round trip, and they can build their own charging center right there at their distribution centers, which is what they're planning to do, then they won't have any issue uh, with range. Now, over the road, will this be a problem? Yeah, until there are charging stations around, uh, this is going to be a problem initially. So that's the deal. 500 miles, that's great, though. That's fully loaded. Tesla says 80,000 pounds, 500 miles. No problem. Now, the other thing about this truck, if you've ever ridden in one of their cars, okay, you know the acceleration is good right brisk and instant power right away and that's going to be another selling point that tesla says from this semi fully loaded eighty thousand pounds zero to 60 he says elon musk says 20 seconds now let me tell you that's fast people think that's not fast it's fast and he also says that bobtail bobtail in one of these trucks five seconds to 60 from a dead stop there are four motors on it one on each uh axle end okay for the truck and that's also going to prevent jackknifing because they can control each motor individually so as soon as the truck senses any type of jackknife it can provide power to only one axle end uh and it can break any wheel individually to help control the truck this will help eliminate a lot of jackknife problems give it more stability, more stability control around corners, uh, that type of thing. All right, they say that you can save two, you're gonna save $200,000 over the life of this vehicle. And that's why, because you're not buying any fuel and you're not getting any oil changes. Most maintenance that you do on the truck now is eliminated. Who should worry about this truck? Owner operators, I'll tell you why. Because you go get a load and it has a rate plus fuel. Guess who doesn't need fuel? Tesla. So some company can come in and compete with you. And, and I know it's hard already, right? But they're going to say, look, not only can we do it for uh, what this other driver is doing it for, we don't need the fuel surcharge. So that 20, 30 cents a mile that you should be getting right now, right? You're not going to get. And because somebody else can do the load for way less than a, a person, a single owner operator, especially should be the one that is concerned about this because a company that comes in, not only do you have trouble competing with them just because of their size now, they're not gonna to need to buy any fuel. And they're not gonna be sitting at the speed co because the truck doesn't need an oil change. The truck doesn't get that kind of service. So they're not gonna have that kind of problem. That's gonna be the deal with this. And Tesla says that they're gonna build a bunch of chargers just like they have now. I have a supercharger right here in town uh, where the cars charge up. They're going to have mega chargers to charge these trucks, okay, and on that charger, they can get to 80% charge in 30 minutes. So during your 30-minute break, you can plug that truck in and get to an 80% charge. So that's good enough. So you drive seven, eight hours, take a 30-minute break, get it back up to 80% or more, then you have plenty more miles to go to drive a legal day where you park again at a charger. So I can see that this, once they get these chargers around, this could be uh, perfect on the road. And the other thing, did you see, um, you sit in the center of the truck. There, you sit in the center, which I always thought was a good idea. Why do I need all that space over there anyway? You sit in the center, there's windows all the way around, just screens on the side, so you can easily see, uh, get rid of that, all right. You can easily see everything around you, no problem. Uh, just incredible, just incredible uh, view. I'm gonna post a link in the description to the Tesla site so you can see for yourself what I'm talking about here with this truck. 
it's really the future and with the screens there's two big tablet size screens right here bigger than a tablet really it will control all the functions of the truck just like their cars do in the center of the car there's a screen if you ever get a chance to get in a tesla car look at that screen and uh, that's how the trucks can be there's no gauges in front of you at all it's all on these screens so drivers that are not keeping up with technology also this is going to be a big problem get with the future because these trucks are the future this are running way less cost than a diesel powered semi and this could change everything about trucking all right so uh, if you have any more questions about the tesla please let me know because i'm very interested in following it i've already signed up at the tesla site to get any information that they have they're going to send it to me and uh, I'm looking for a place to go drive one. That'd be really great. So I'm working on that. And uh, we'll be back soon with more Trucking Answers.